Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new travel size toiletry kit full of prosciutto. My name is Leon Lush. I am so excited to have you here. Uh, we're in a little bit of a different scenario today. I'm recording from my streaming setup with the Elgato stream deck. I'm trying to break up the monotony a little bit. Uh, you, for instance, live edits, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to a new tier list video. Oh, oh. Doing live tricks in OBS Studio. I got a dedicated camera for Nigel. Live edits for this whole flipping video. Yeah, so, you know, I, will, I promise I won't do that again. But anyways, let's get into this. All right, so this is a very important video, and let me tell you why, all right? Because cancel culture right now is absolutely hot. hot. I mean, just on fire. With what's been going on the last month, it's like you can't keep up. Keemstar's head is spinning, and just 2019 so far is just off to a great start. And I think we really need to boil this down uh, and, and rate these cancelings and how they're performing in this arbitrary tier list. Now, some of you might be thinking to yourself, Oh, man, tier lists are so played out. Everyone's done those so far, Leanne. Why are you doing a tier list? Let me stop you right there, okay? Because... No, that point makes no sense, all right? For instance, maybe you have a favorite band that released an album this year that you've been enjoying, okay? Well, guess what? About 100,000 other bands have also released albums this year, so your point is invalid, idiot. So we're gonna ease into this with some low-tier Etika drama. Uh, about a month ago, not the first time, but he had like another psychotic break on Twitter and this whole God complex thing where he was just tweeting, 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 tweeting. The police got called, yeah, I'm getting hauled out of his apartment. Etika! has some mental instability issues, so you don't want to really give that a high rating because we're not rooting for uh, mental health problems, right? But we are just going to leave that on C tier because C stands for please don't go off your meds and wow, the typos are out of control. So next up we have Shane Dawson and Shane Dawson's cat Cheeto. Now you might remember about a month or two ago, uh, this controversy resurfaced where there was audio or a video of Shane talking about uh, a sexual encounter he had with his cat Cheeto, in which I believe, I don't remember exactly, but he was rubbing his, um, the unit onto the cat until he reached, you know what I'm saying, and then the, uh, baby gravy ejected onto the cat, which is, I mean, just incredible stuff. Uh, Shane was able to swerve this one pretty good. I mean, he's a master of swerving, uh, cancel culture. But I gotta give minimum A for that. The, you know, everyone's like, oh, he's joking. But the way he delivered the whole statement about it was unbelievably convincing the more you listen to it. Um, but that's absolutely uh, bestiality is gonna be A tier there. Nigel, how do you feel about that one, bud? Delicious. Well, you said it, not me, anyways. Next up, we got the Ace family. Um, they've had a couple of controversies in the past. <laughs> So the outrage was a flash in the pan, but it didn't even put a dent in their multi-million dollar YouTube family vlogging channel, so that's that's a failing grade. I'm grouping D, E, F all into one because anything below a C uh, is a failing grade. You guys remember Matt Watson? A couple months ago, he tried to get YouTube canceled because there was like this wormhole of children's content that was being facilitated by predators and there were some pretty questionable comments going on. Well, yes, YouTube handled that problem, but, uh, you know, Matt, initially, his attention seemed, intention seemed good, but the farther you went on, the more you realized he was just kind of like an angry, bitter, washed-up YouTuber that never had success on the platform that was trying to destroy YouTube for everybody instead of just getting the problem fixed. Went about it completely the wrong way, uh, kind of ended up making an ass out of himself and then fell off the face of the earth. Um, I'm gonna give him a C just because looking at his face makes me angry. So we're gonna get right into this heavy hitter with the Pro Jared scandal. Very recent. Uh, Pro Jared, prominent in the gaming community. Um, was in a polyamorous relationship, it looks like, and this girl Heidi, uh, his wife, came out with a tweet and just went super public with this whole scandal. Jared was cheating, uh, on her behind their back. And this girl, Holly right here, responded to Heidi's tweet and was like, I'm so sorry, I'm here for me if you need to talk. Turns out, Jared was banging Holly the whole time. And as time went on and more details come out, find come to find out like Heidi's pretty crazy. Holly maybe was just kind of like a unsuspecting bystander in this polyamorous relationship. And Jared is this funny looking uh, Cretan type that somehow was pulling uh, multiple pairs of TNA. Holly's going straight B tier because she's almost like this innocent bystander that got sucked into this whirlwind of an effed up flipping relationship between Jared and Heidi that just chewed all of them up and spit them out. Heidi's going S tier because she's crazy uh, and the elf ears, hilarious. Jared's going S tier as well just because of how much of a nightmare this polamorous relationship turned out to be. Uh, but I got to tell you, I heard from a friend, I don't know this personally, but I heard that he had some uh, some DPs out on the internet, if you understand, some pictures of his, his uh, schwang A 
and apparently it looks pretty nice you know what i'm saying decent shape relatively nice girth could have been the camera angle i don't know but that's absolutely going to take him from s to ss tier because he's got nice looking dps on the internet uh i gotta be honest with you i don't even know what s and ss stand for i just assume it stands for like super cyan or like SS from Nazi Germany, which I don't, I don't understand, but we're just going to forget about that for now. More recently, Jacqueline Paul tried to cancel Cody Ko in the most, uh, the cringiest, least self-aware move of all time. He made an entire dedicated video to confronting Cody uh, and started this campaign of anti-cyberbullying. It's almost too difficult and cringy to talk about, uh, but the whole internet came to Cody's defense uh, because he's actually funny and talented, and Jake Paul, uh, don't get it twisted, is a complete Neanderthal. Cody's going in SS tier because he's funny, and I, you know I don't even know what the hell this is ranking anymore. Can't. Well, he he just totally dodged, just swerved Jake Paul's canceling. Jake Paul, I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a new role for Jake Paul. We're gonna call this role cockroach, uh, similar to how cockroaches could survive a nuclear holocaust. Jake Paul somehow survives any sort of canceling on the internet. It's like people almost feel bad for him at this point. He's so much of a Neanderthal. Yo, why are you gonna do my man Jake like that, dog? Please, please don't, please don't ever call Jake your man again, Nigel, you stupid buffoon. Next up, we have <clears throat> the Battle of the Predators. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Romeo Lacoste here, and uh, let's see, Austin Jones. Now, I know what you're saying. Austin Jones is in 2019, Leon, hello. He got exposed for soliciting lewds from very young girls using his... In uh, online influence to, to do very disgusting things and DMs, etc., etc. This was like early 2018, forever ago at this point. But he's on this list because his sentencing recently came down. And my boy Austin Jones, no, he's, I'm sorry, he's not my boy. Let's just happen to say that. <laughs> and Austin Jones here uh, got 10 years in jail. So we're going to have to go ahead and <laughs> just add it. We got to add a whole nother tier for this one as well. Uh, I'm in prison now lamayo uh austin's gonna go up there that is even above s tier because what a scumbag there is no higher form of canceling uh, than getting 10 years in prison as a young twink looking man so austin jones good luck to you my friend romeo lacoste same situation not to the same extent as austin i don't think but uh hugely popular tattoo artist in la has tattooed some of the most prominent youtubers there is come to find out he's he's basically just a, a degenerate texting and soliciting the same type of thing all this these lewds from young girls and blah 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 so romeo hasn't really posted since i haven't followed what he's been doing i'm sure he lost a whole shitload of business uh, but I'm sure he's still getting tattoos from people that aren't involved in the YouTube community. Walk-ins and shit. I'm gonna go S tier for that, just because I think he did get hit pretty hard from it. So as the age-old adage goes, just because someone gives incredible tattoos does not mean they're not degenerate pedos. <laughs> then we have Rice Gum and Jared Paul again. Uh, earlier this year, they had that, like, gambling site uh, scandal where they were promoting this mystery brand .net or whatever to kids. <laughs> Jason Paul's gonna go down to Cockroach because there's really no other tier here for him no matter what. And Rice Gum, I'm just gonna put him B tier because it's it's Rice Gum. You know what? After he got canceled, he made him like an apology video and was giving out like Amazon gift codes at the end. And it turns out the Amazon gift codes had already been used and were invalid. So we're gonna we're gonna bump him up to A tier because that's a that's an A tier fucking <laughs> scumbag move right there. All right, we got Trisha Paytas versus the Vlog Squad being represented by Jason Nash's picture because he was the ex-boyfriend of Trish Paytas in this case. <sighs> Anyways, they dated for a short time, and after Jason and Trisha inevitably broke up uh, after months of just probably one of the most dysfunctional relationships I've ever witnessed online, which is obviously no surprise for Trisha Paytas, um, she went on to make about 115 crying on the kitchen floor videos, trying to expose the vlog squad and David for being a jerk and just forcing his friends to do all these types of things, blah, blah, blah. Now, the vlog squad completely unfazed by this whole thing, uh, mainly because Trisha Paytas has a long, checkered history of just making videos where she's crying on the kitchen floor, crying about her failed relationships. It's almost like a girl who cried wolf situation where it's like, yeah, right, Trisha, I'm sure they're terrible. Like every other relationship you've had in the last five years, it's ended in an absolute disaster and you doing a mukbang and then crying for 50 minutes talking about why it was so bad. I mean, her entire content strategy is based around her being a bit of a hot mess and she's pretty much, eh, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't really want to say it. She's, she's an absolute slob. Well, I mean, I didn't say it. Okay, Nigel's a little bit harsher than I am, I guess. Anyways, she's gonna need, she's gonna need her own tier. This is this is getting out of hand. These tiers, but let's add this row below. Please, for the love of God, please stop making videos crying about. <laughs> 
your failed relationships. There we go. That should be just fine for her. Some of you may remember just Destiny, a commentator who, uh, you know, took the piss out of kids and made a ton of money. Dr. Phil videos, that type of thing. I've done stuff like that in the past, but uh, the second someone made a video about him that was negative, criticizing him, he went ahead and copyright struck that video to, to get it blocked, which is just hypocrisy of catastrophic proportions, so that gets a failing grade. Um, I don't even really know what the grades represent at this point, but hypocrisy is dumb. PewDiePie vs. T-Series. Those are both going to go on B tier because it was a lot of fun, but neither of them ultimately got canceled. It was all it was all just for fun. At least it was f it was fun for PewDiePie's side. T Series got a little butt hurt at the end here and was actually blocking his videos and trying to get his content blocked because you know it's India. I don't really know what they do over there, but uh, more power to you, I guess. <laughs> oh, man, these three need no introduction. Tati, James Charles, and Jeffrey Star. The internet came to a screeching halt as everyone held their breath and watched James Charles lose over 3 million subscribers in just a few days, shattering, shattering the previous records for sub loss for any creator uh, in this kind of cancel culture and just an, uh, just such a dramatic turn of events. Tati uploads a video canceling James Charles, basically accusing him of being a predator trying to get straight boys to sleep with him using his fame and fortune. I mean, just some SS tier snakery. I mean, and then James, a week later, comes out Pretty good rebuttal, if we're being honest. Flips the ball back in Toddy's court. She starts losing subs after James had lost over 3 million. James starts gaining subs again. Toddy's losing subs. Uh, Jeffree Star, meanwhile, is in the background just sending out fire tweet after fire tweet. Just some of the most inflammatory, offensive bullshit. But here we are. They're all triple S tier. This is some of the most devious, maniacal, plotting, backstabbing behavior I've ever seen on the internet. And boy, was it a trip. And honestly, I'm a little disgusted at this point. All, all of a sudden, they're all on this new, like, oh, everybody should just be happy bullshit. Like, look at some of these tweets. Thank you, babe, so much for the birthday wishes. All I want is happiness for everyone. Uh, what, bro? Like, your friend, your best friends were, like, trying to slit your throat a week ago, and you want happiness for everyone all of a sudden? Get out of here, dude. Remember to take a deep flipping breath today, and don't let the small stuff get you down. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Dust my ears deceive me? Weren't you just trying to slit the throat of your best friend not but a week ago, sending him the most disgusting and nasty DMs about trying to destroy his career and get him committed because he was a threat to the public? And now you don't want to let the small stuff get you down? Talk about a bunch of fake ass makeup caked bitches, bro. I'm tired of it. Anyways, they're all double S here because I've never seen behavior quite like this. But honestly, the second best thing to come from this whole thing is this song that I made. Roll it. I wanna fuck. Straight boys, why is that so much to ask? I'm rich and famous, so why don't you let me play with your ass? I don't care if you are married or you're not gay. I'll use my fame to get my dick. And the actual best thing is the remake of that song that was made by my friend Party in the Backyard. Check it out. I don't care if you are married or you're not gay. I'll use my fame to get my dick up. I wanna fuck gay You know, every cloud has a silver lining, as they say, and in this case, they were absolutely right. So out of this mega James Charles canceling spawned this next canceling, which is Team YouTube versus live subscriber counts. Are you kidding me? Look at this tweet. Currently, public sub counts are abbreviated to most, but not all places across YouTube in August will make this more consistent by always showing abbreviated sub counts publicly. Creators, you'll still see your full sub count in your studio. So YouTube's trying to spin this like they're trying to tidy up the YouTube AI, right? By eliminating those pesky deaths of all those numbers. We're just going to round it up to the closest million. But really what's happening is they're changing their API to stop delivering real-time subscriber analytics. So site like Social Blade, which has become an integral part of the YouTube experience, checking real-time sub counts, watching your real-time sub count as you pass milestones on YouTube, like 10K, 100K, 1 million. That's such a huge part of the experience. YouTube is now effectively canceling that because they're concerned about cancel culture and watching things like what happened to James Charles, where his sub count was basically weaponized against him because that's how the public shows involvement, right? When something like this happens, the very finite, small piece of power that these, you know, the YouTube viewers hold is their subscription to someone. So we created another tier below S for this one called Absolutely Pathetic and Dumb, and that's exactly um, where that whole initiative belongs. Wait, why is YouTube constantly trying to fix things that don't need to be fixed? 
I don't know, bro. Honestly, it's like, it's just kind of par for the course at this point, but uh, it's it's stupid, but I'm used to it. Yeah, but what about like copyright abuse, monetization issues, you know, things that like actually affect creators' livelihoods? Finally, some of the biggest news to come out of the gaming community for as long as I can remember. Uh, FaZe Banks and the FaZe Clan being sued by Tifu, formerly FaZe Tifu. Now, Tifu is pretty much the biggest gamer in the world right now, next to Ninja, at least as far as Fortnite is concerned. FaZe Banks is the founder and owner of FaZe, who brought Tifu in uh, years ago and helped foster Tifu's kind of rise to stardom where he is now. Now, there's a lot of split opinions on this, and I'm not going to get into the details here. There's plenty of information on the internet. Um, you know, who's in the wrong, who backstabbed who, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but this is absolutely S tier, uh, cancel culture, because now they're going to be probably in a vicious legal battle for at least a year or two as Turner tries to get out of his phase contract. Uh, and I don't really know. I'm sure phase will counter sue and who knows what's going to happen. My personal opinion after absorbing a lot of the information from both sides is that this is a bit of a bit of a greedy play, um, from Turner's camp. Uh, you know, yeah, the contract was initially garbage, um, but there was multiple times where they tried to renegotiate and get Turner into a better contract, including a contract that took 0% of anything Turner did and gave him a $1 million salary. All he had to do was represent FaZe, um, and he was denying those because he wanted to essentially get cut loose and be a free agent. But you have to remember, Banks essentially took Turner in before anyone knew who he was. Yes, he had, you know, he was a professional H1Z1 player and he was a good gamer. But after after Turner joined FaZe, it absolutely exploded his career. And the argument then becomes, well, Turner's so talented, he would have exploded anyways, blah, blah, blah. And like, there's no way to know that, right? There's a lot of Fortnite pros that are incredible at the game that have zero clout. So you can't discount what FaZe and what Banks did for Turner's career. And for him to kind of turn around and, and just kind of bite the hand that fed him and sue them out of left field just because he wants to be a free agent and doesn't want to live out the rest of his contract is... Uh, uh, that's a bit of a tough move. The argument that his contract was so bad, it was illegal, and blah, 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 none of that holds water because FaZe has made multiple attempts to give him a contract that's very, very reasonable. Turner just wants to be out of FaZe so he can start his own organization ASAP while he's kind of at the peak of his game right now, which I, that just seems like such a, kind of a snake move, man. You kind of just, I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of details none of us know, but that's just my knee-jerk reaction on the situation. Uh, totally double S tier because this is going to be talked about in the gaming community for years to come, and Keemstar is going to have just endless amounts of video content to make as this legal battle persists. So this is the completed 2019 cancel culture tier list. If you don't agree with anything on here, you're absolutely wrong. And my God, it's only May, and and look at how far we've come. So much more juice uh, in the months ahead. I'm sure this month has been out of control. Well, I'm glad I made this video because it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you just hit thrust the like button and subscribe if you want. If you don't, I guess we'll understand, but I mean, whatever. I